What is up everyone, Mariner for Student Aesthetics and um, in today's video I'm going to do another Q&A and this time it is a business related Q&A so I asked you guys a while ago on Instagram to ask me some questions because I obviously started a business in the fitness industry it could be any other industry but basically it's about you know social media how I started, how I built that up and basically everything that has to do with being an entrepreneur and starting your own business so let's get right into it Let's start off with this one, content strategy or free ball? Um, so that would have to be free ball all the way, you know? Um, I never structure my videos, I don't even like plan out my tags, like I don't prepare anything. Even when I do informative videos, I'll do it all out of my head. Um, I may have some subjects that I want to discuss, but I don't have like his full text written out and all that kind of stuff. A lot of YouTubers actually do that, so it wouldn't be too weird. But I don't, like for me it's completely free ball. Also as far as ideas go, um, when I feel like doing something on a certain day, I will do it and that is pretty much how I approach uh, my daily activities as well. What do you think is the best tool of promotion for your business? Um, in my case that would have to be YouTube all the way, you know. Uh, most of my clients come from YouTube and that is obviously where I make most of my money. Now Instagram got that as well obviously, but like YouTube people really get to connect with you on a personal level and I feel like that is kind of like the reason why people choose me as their online coach instead of somebody else. So um, that would definitely have to be YouTube for me, definitely. How do you get sponsorships, right? A question that I literally get asked like every single day somewhere. And I think to start off answering this question, most people, they just want it too bad, all right? They literally start a fitness channel or a fitness Instagram page to be sponsored, all right? Just for the sake of being sponsored um, because it like it sounds cool or something or you know, the free products, it all sounds amazing. I mean, I was like that at first, you know, I thought it was all that awesome. Once you get sponsored, you start to realize that um, a sponsorship is not life at all. Like, it is not that amazing, you know. It is cool and it is definitely something that will help you as a business and as an entrepreneur, especially here in the fitness industry. But it's not something that should be your life goal like a lot of people actually talk about and I think that's crazy. But yeah, as far as how to get it, um, you know, first of all, I'm not gonna lie, I can say that, you know, you have to really represent the brand, you have to stand behind it and all that kind of stuff and that is true, um, but you need a solid social media following before you can get sponsored or before they will approach you. Or, you know, you gotta mean something for the company as well as the company has to mean something for you. Well, you already know what they're gonna mean to you. You're gonna get free products and more importantly, you're gonna have commission of some type or you're gonna have, you know, some type of income that they will provide you because otherwise they may be profiting a lot more than you. If you're only getting free products, you know, that is not really a solid sponsorship in my opinion. Um, but like the deeper you get into it, the more you start to realize that you should not just be taking out all kinds of sponsorships. I know when I just started out, the only thing I wanted was to get a sponsorship um, and I would pretty much accept eat more easily than I would right now. Like right now I have a lot of standards um, that they have to live up to before I will accept them. And that is basically, you know, knowing what your value is. And um, at first your value is not that much, but you have to realize that before a company will sponsor you, um, you will have to mean something to them, all right? So you will have to either represent the brand very well, um, but you definitely need followers to do that, all right? Like you can represent a brand as well as you can, like take perfect pictures on Instagram and everything. If you have nobody watching them, you know, they will not sponsor you. So um, that is where you start and show them that you, you know, actually care about the brand and that you are already wearing it. And that will definitely increase your chances of being sponsored. But then again, you know, it's just basic business. It is what can you mean to a person and what can that person mean to you? And then you have a cooperation together. And if the lightning is bad, I apologize for it. Um, I should get like a lighting box kind of thing. So the next question is um, like, how did you start your website and business? Um, so basically I built a website myself. Um, you know, I've told this story before, definitely. Um, I started Student Aesthetics with, you know, a couple hundred dollars on my bank account. I did not have the money to hire someone to build a website. So I had to do that myself. Now also I didn't directly build the website and became an online personal trainer, you know, first I did the YouTube and Instagram and I spread a lot of free information. Um, and then at some point, you know, a lot of people started asking me like, do you do workout programs? Do you do nutrition programs? Um, and that's when I started getting my certificate. All right, and um, that all kind of happened. So it was not like I started this business to become rich, you know, get a lot of money. I just wanted to help people. And um, it, it is just a hobby that got really out of hand. And um, some of you gotta realize that, like a lot of you um, wanna be an online personal trainer and you know, you start your own website, but you don't have a following yet. Now, if you start building that following, like the people are gonna see that you only wanna make money and 
maybe you don't but like kind of looks like that when you directly start selling all kinds of stuff even though you don't have a lot of followers so that is why i do suggest actually focusing on building those followers first um before offering a product how many times did you fail while trying to get things rolling all right so i feel many many times guys and um you got to realize like if you want to be an entrepreneur um, you will have to settle that you're gonna fail so many times before succeeding um, or maybe not maybe you'll succeed right away but uh, like if you want to become better and better there there are no no chances that you will not fail at some point um, so you will always feel like I feel many times um, after a year of building student aesthetics I almost had to quit like I wasn't making enough money as I should all right so I literally almost had to quit and um, go back to you know I was working before in a supermarket or or washing dishes and shit like that like I almost had to go back um, but I kept on going you know and that happened so many times guys so many times that I almost fail but um, in my mind I just knew man like I, I can I can't tell you guys enough like but this story like it's it's too fucking beautiful for myself you know um, sometimes I almost like fucking cry when I realize like like fuck man like this was the dream and um, I just knew man like someday it was gonna happen and um, you know we're making it happen right now we're getting close every day but like a year ago I could not expect all this but yeah to answer that question you know I failed so many times um, while trying to get things rolling and um, I have had so many moments that I was doubting myself and that I wasn't sure you know whether I should be doing this or whether I was even capable of doing this you know and all that kind of stuff but um, at the end of the day like I always came back to the realization that you know this was my passion this was what I want to do and I was gonna make it happen whatever it takes and um yeah what are your goals like financially six seven figures all right so um, I actually answered this question on snapchat already um, just gonna throw it out there so my goal for 2016 so this year is um, a six-figure business um, and that is gross income obviously and then um, seven-figure business so one million dollars is my plan before I turn 25 so I have four years left to make that happen but I'm very confident that I will now um, financial numbers to me they are not that important um, you know I can tell you guys like you can have all the money in the world like I don't believe that money is everything I really don't believe that and um, you know the more money I started making the more I actually started realizing that so um, you know when I was a younger kid I always cared a lot about I always wanted to be rich you know I always wanted to have a lot of money um, I'm not rich right now but like the more money I started making the less I kind of started caring about it like not saying the money isn't great because it is it is awesome to um, you know have a lot of money and to basically be able to do what you want um, with it as well you know with your life and money makes everything so easy but yeah with that said um, the thing I wanted to say like why money um, is a goal for me is that I think financial goals are just a really good measurement of how well you are doing and uh, for me that is helping people um, because the bigger my financials are the more people I've been able to help so it's six figures this year before January and then um, one million dollars at the age of 25 guys how many hours do you work on average in a week um, so that is a question that I literally cannot really answer um, you guys have to understand like student aesthetics this is it is kind of my life it has taken over my life completely um, it is basically what I do like the whole freaking day from the moment I wake up until I go to sleep I do something that has to do with student aesthetics, building his business or building a brand, you know, um, whether that is, you know, uh, making YouTube videos, editing, answering emails, um, which I do a lot. This also takes a lot of my time behind the desk. Um, and next to that, behind being in the desk, I go to the gym, I prep meals, and that is all kind of part of work as well because it is my body that I'm representing. So it's really hard to really say what work for me is. Um, but at the same time, you know, I pretty much love every single thing that I do and I get so much enjoyment from this. So it's like I wake up and I'm excited to do shit. And when I go to bed, I'm like, shit, what am I gonna do tomorrow? Sometimes in the middle of the night, I wake up with ideas, you know, that I write down. It's one big work. Thing actually like what I do like every single day um, seven days a week you know I do go to festivals sometimes um, I do go to parties and shit like that that is like once a week guys um, next to that I am really not hanging out that much all right I'm just working but I don't see it as work because I love what I do and every single day I'm excited again because like I can do new shit like I can accomplish more and more and like 
this feeling of accomplishment, like, I, I cannot really um, explain this to you guys, but it is so freaking amazing. It's really like, once you start accomplishing, like, you start to get so hungry for more and more. And um, this is why, you know, I can relate to all those entrepreneurs out there and I can see why people accomplish so much, all right, and why people keep working even though they could stop working it, because it's so freaking enjoyable all right once you do something you love it is so enjoyable that it's not work anymore it's your life all right and that is why a lot of people they cannot retire from work because they're having so much fun doing it and i think that's with a lot of entrepreneurs and i have that same mindset um how many hours a week do i work i don't know but it's way more than a nine to five all right because i'm literally working every single night until you know 12 one o'clock until i go to sleep like so yeah to answer the question a lot of damn hours but i love it how many sources of income do you have all right so this may be an interesting question to some people um so first of all i like coaching and just workout training programs um then we got youtube income um ad revenue and we got the shirts merchandise more is coming by the way i am working on it and um sponsorships obviously so to answer that question got four sources of income